Uh, yeah, I think Forsaken is probably going to be a good fit for you. Uh, between me and Matt, we're this close to winning the co-op championships. After your performance and final stage, honestly, you would be a great fit. This is where you need to be. Forsaken. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? Having a nice little chat. That's funny because I actually wanted to come talk to you about joining Corruption. I also saw your match at final stage and I'm very impressed. And it's not easy to impress me. I think you'd be a great fit with corruption. Uh, well, guys, I'm very flattered. Um, but, well, this is kind of awkward, but you guys will see. You'll see. See what? Welcome to Game of Water Show. It's now time for our first match of the night. I want to introduce a new team here in Game of Honor, RPG. Real Powerful Gamer. Real Powerful Gamer. All you need to know is that Blaze and Aggro are going to dominate. All right, so we have a challenge mode with real powerful gamers. Liz, I am happy to have you here on commentary. Yeah, so, I'm excited to be here. How does it feel to be a part of a brand new faction here in Game of Water? I'm really excited for this season, especially being a part of a new faction. It's awesome. Yes, I am very excited. I'm, I did not expect for you guys to come in as real powerful gamers, okay? I got the notice for it a little while ago, and I was very excited to see Blaze, Aggro, you all coming together, stepping into the arena. You guys got a world champion. You yeah. were on fire last season of Game of Honor. Yeah. <laughs> so I think it's I think it's a good combination. I think it's a good combination. Here we have Cerberus Blaze and Aggro competing in a co-op challenge mode together in Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. All they have to do is KO five opponents, 500 opponents, I'm sorry. So it looks like right now they are at 141, so they still have a little bit to go. But I mean, Blaze is a world champion. Aggro was the runner up in the junior match. Uh, last season at final stage so these two have skill i have no doubt in my mind that they can't pass yeah definitely i'm really excited i've seen both of them play and you know i just know they're going to dominate the season it's awesome and speaking of dominating uh princeton and Matt mason i heard that they approached you about joining forsaken and corruption and you turned them both down yeah i mean i know what corruption forsaken is all about um definitely forsaken is the better of the two but I'm excited for my own faction. I think this one's going to be better. That's good. That's good. I'm happy to have an alternative. I also like these little cloaks you guys got. I know. Got. They're so cute. You guys walking in here <laughs> looking like a team. I like that. Yep. I like that. All about the visuals. <laughs> so these guys are at uh, about 325, doing pretty well. Looks like Aggro is in the lead with KO. He's yeah. he's really going ham with uh, Daruk here. I was going to say, he's here. dropping all those guys like flies. Yes, he is. Really has impressive. two specials left to go. Just reached 200 followers. They both just reached 200 followers around the same time, too, actually. They yeah. are not holding up. Ooh, going in for the ult. That's nice. That's some nice skill work right there with that sword swinging. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Even got the cloak on, too. <laughs> I know. He's playing the part perfectly. Yep. Oh, uh, wow. Looks like they're coming up on it. They're in their last stretch here. I think they might have this. I'm really excited. Success. Oh, look at that. Success. There it I is. I knew they could do it. <laughs> Talk about real powerful gamers. These guys earn themselves 50 points of experience here. What a great way to start the show. Good job, guys. I'm proud of you. Good job, guys. We're, we're real, real powerful, powerful gamers. gamers. And we're here to make a proud statement that we're a part of Game of Honor.
Dom, you gone done did it. How, how'd you beat me with the Sunkern, man? I got Sunkern. Out of all the Pokemon you could be using, I lost to a Sunkern. Good game, man. Good game. Man. Guys, hold on. I'll be back. I gotta go talk to Princeton. He does this every now and then. Just don't, don't go anywhere, okay? Just stay here. I'll be right back. Princeton, where? Oh! Princeton! <laughs> Princeton! Princeton! Check your pockets, your forsaken shirt. It's in your pockets. <clears throat> oh, he's gone. Oh, there he is. Feeling better? Way better. That's good, man. That's What's good. Up, you know, you got to keep that Forsaken shirt on you at all yeah. times. If you ever lose it, you know where to find it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know. ProWrestlingTees.com slash Game of Honor. Hi. Hello. Welcome to Papa's Diner. In Papa's Diner, you'll see recipes you can make at home easily. Swing by one of the episodes and you'll walk out a better cook. You can find me at YouTube.com slash Game of Honor Show. We're back from commercial, time for our second match of the night. We have Stigma versus a new Game of Honor Jr., Mr. Scoville. So let's go ahead and introduce our Game of Honor Jr. to the arena, Mr. Scoville. Game of Honor Jr. All right, so this guy's a little creepy. I'm not even gonna lie. You know, I've always wondered, where do you, do you find people like this or do they show up at your door? This is an open door policy here in Game of Honor. Some of them show up, some of them just find their way here. Okay, uh, that's all I can say. But Mr. Scovo's here, he's the Game of Honor Junior and I'm excited to see how well he's gonna do tonight. Interesting personality. All right, so let's go ahead and call in his opponent, someone you guys all know very well, representing Corruption. Let's welcome Stigma to the arena. of stigma into the arena member of corruption here revealing oh, his mask i lost you but i love you you'll always be with me there's all stigma was ill the entire time entire but time, Admiral, the entire time entire time but he's still gonna go by stigma here on the show happy to have him excited to see how well he's gonna do against mr skullville tonight All right, we're coming in with our second match of the night. We have Stigma versus Mr. Scoville. Mr. Scoville is somebody new, new Game of Honor Jr. here. First time, first debut here in Game of Honor, playing as Bray Wyatt, while Stigma seems to be playing as Rumple, a pug? Is it my pug? I don't know. I don't know because this man knows me personally. Stigma turned out to be ill the entire time. No one of us saw it coming, revealed himself at final stage when he lost to a Gaio Azteca and had to reveal his identity by taking off his mask. Nobody saw uh, it coming. No, I, <laughs> I, I, I certainly didn't. I certainly didn't. I'm still in shock about it. Seeing him here in Game of Honor, it's, it's weird to me. It's weird to me. But Mr. Scoville, very interesting character, very interesting attire he's wearing. Uh, looks kind of like a ringmaster. I don't know. It's a strange one. He's a strange one. Uh, we have a couple strange people coming to Game of Water, so he's not the first one to make an appearance. We've had Blood Monk, who's been a little strange. Mm -hmm. Randomizer has been a little Gets strange. Snapped. Blackburn, he's a pirate, right? He's a little strange. So it happens. It happens to get interesting people in Game of Honor, but we have an open door policy here, so everyone is allowed. By the way, Stigma got some kind of power up going on here. Flaming Hands? Ooh, hits look like they hurt here. 
No, you haven't played WWE Battlegrounds, no, have you? I have no idea what's going on. So I played this game maybe once or twice uh, with Princeton. We were just hanging out. Ooh, Stigma going in for the special. She went ready for corruption, Ouch, boy. That looks like ready for it. Mm -hmm. Take that out. Uh, this game looks fun. Uh, I've played the typical uh, WWE 2K. We've seen those in, in Game of Honor. Yeah. But to see Battlegrounds is different. It's a little bit more, I want to say, animated in the, in the terms of cartoony. Yeah. Uh, and I think I think it's a nice style. I think it's it looks fun to play. It looks fun to watch. And there's still a bit of of strategic uh, struggle to it. Ooh, very nice, very nice move from uh, Senior Scoville here. Outside of the arena, pulls out a motorcycle out of nowhere. <laughs> what is with this game? <laughs> I this is, I'm honestly just kind of perplexed. Like the the pug had me at first, and then I'm just watching this, and like I have no idea what's happening. See, the thing is with Game of Honor is that you have to be able to adapt. You don't know what game you're going to be playing. You don't know what your opponent is bringing into the arena. However, uh, you come in here, bring your best, and you test your skills. And I think this is a good game to show that. It plays differently than the, the regular 2K games. So anybody that has experience in those games, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge for them. Right now, um, oh, Mr. Scoville coming in. Nice slam. Was that a special? I'm not sure. But that was a nice hit, though. The question is, who's going to get the pin, though? This is the first to just get a three pin. Nobody's tried pinning yet. They've just been an onslaught of damage against each other. Oh, this might be it. This might be it. If Stigma goes for the pin here, I think he won. Oh, uh, looks like he is. No, nope. oh, no, he picked him back up. Picked him back up. Got to do a little bit more damage here. Oh, yeah, Mr. Scoville's on his last leg. Here we go. Speaking oh, of the, the leg, pin. is he going to kick out? One, two, three. Exactly. I put you down in the ground. Season five of Game of Honor. I'm coming to take heads. Corruption taking over everything. He represented Corruption very well tonight. He's going to win himself 30 points of experience. What a good way to start his year, right? right. Uh, so after that, we're going to go to commercial. And when we come back, we're going to come back with our main event, which is Chris versus El Gallo Azteca. Hello there, Matt Edwards here. Just letting you know you can find GOH music on most music streaming platforms. Not only will you find the player's entrance themes, but you can find the soundtracks for Final Stage. And hey, if you wanted to play my theme song on repeat, I wouldn't blame you. Well, that's all for today. See you next time. We are currently working on Shocking Truth Season 2. Season 2 of Shocking Truth will have seven new contestants, and Season 1 runner-up, Rose, will join the new bracket. If you haven't seen the first season, you can find it on youtube.com slash Game of Honor Show. Welcome back from commercial. It's time for our main event. Chris has earned this opportunity. He did a match against Kunai last show for a number one contender match for the player one championship, and he won. So now he will face Azteca, El Gallo Azteca, for that player one championship tonight. So let's go ahead and welcome Chris RV2 to the arena. I gotta say, Let's go. I gotta say, Chris defeating Kunai was very impressive. Kunai was a former world champion. He defeated him last show. So I'm very interested to see how well he's gonna do against El Gallo Azteca. He could possibly be our new player one champion already. So get, get, getting a match like, like this, uh, especially following after what, what happened at final stage, man, this is, this could do wonders. Get, getting this kind of opportunity going for me, this, this is exactly what I need to, to kind of just kickstart some uh, some 
potential amazing opportunities moving forward. Uh, this is, it's make it or break it time and I'm ready to make it. But let's go ahead and welcome in his opponent, the inaugural player one champion, El Gallo Azteca. All right, here comes El Gallo Azteca stepping into the arena. He doesn't have his championship on him right now. We are getting it fitted. Uh, but the way Chris played last show, we might have jumped the gun on that. But who knows, El Gallo Azteca is a very impressive, very strong player, and I'm excited to see what these two juniors are gonna do in the arena tonight. All right, it's time for our main event of the night. We have El Gallo Azteca versus Chris. They are playing, oh, already. <laughs> Azteca fell into the water already. What a horrible, horrible start to this match. Uh, they're playing food, uh, boomerang food. That's boomerang what it is. Food. Boomerang food. Essentially, they have boomerangs. They throw it at each other, kill their opponents. This is the first one to, this is a, first of all, this is the first one to just get like 10 points. Get points? like 10 points. I think that's what it is. It's so many points here, <laughs> but these matches go by so fast. Yeah, we're already like three points in. So fast. Uh, and I gotta say, Azteca came in, he won the player one championship Ooh, at point for final Avocado stage. Azteca. Nice. He won the player one championship at final stage. Uh, he is the inaugural champion of the player one championship, the inaugural winner, the first ever making history in Game of Honor. And that's what I like to see. I like to see history being made. It's that simple. Uh, Chris, Chris is, I think, in the lead here. He takes the lead by yeah, one point. He's in one point in the lead. One point. Now, have you played this game? No. Although, it, it seems pretty easy to pick up. Oh, hit it, hit it in the grass. Oh. Hit it in the grass. Azteca takes that yeah. one. Way to use your surroundings to your advantage. What were you saying? Yeah, it, it seems pretty easy to pick up. From what it looks like, you can hold the charge and you can teleport to where your boomerang is. You cannot teleport. That right. is a power-up he got. Oh, it is? Yep, see those books in the corner? See that little blue book? That's a power-up. Oh. Uh, so when you get just those- been doing it like all match, so I didn't realize he had grabbed one. Got one very early on. Chris manages to go in for a close combat kill. Mm -hmm. Very smart. Uh, sometimes it is smarter to play it. Now you can deflect your opponent's boomerangs. That's one thing. See, Chris just got telekinesis here, okay. but it didn't even matter. <laughs> it didn't even matter as Tekka comes through. These guys have been very neck and neck. Yeah. I'm very impressed at how close this match has been. Oh, so Chris just got rid of telekinesis for an extra boomerang. I don't know if that's a good idea. I generally don't. Ah, right into that hit from Azteca. I don't know if that was a good swap. Sometimes that's the thing with the power-ups is you generally don't know what's a good swap and what's not. Hmm. Uh, yeah, man. Oh, hiding behind the gong, that's smart. I don't think he got rid of telekinesis. I think they stack, because it looks like he still has both, the double boomerang and telekinesis. Oh, got him. No, telekinesis lets you control where the boomerang is. You can oh. call your boomerang back to you, because sometimes it gets stuck behind things. Okay. Yep. Ooh, this is a pretty straightforward one. This is just the first one. Oh, deflects it. Oh, wow. Oh, teleported out of the way. That was almost, that well, was almost Chris's kill. Azteca has definitely, definitely started to take the lead here. Only three more wins and Azteca has this. Now, Chris can make a comeback. It's that easy to make a comeback in this game, but I gotta say. Oh, stage hazard. Stage hazard, smart move from Azteca. Azteca's playing smart. That's what I was gonna say. Azteca's playing smart and he kind of has this. I think he might have this yeah. in the bag. It seems like he adapted to the game a little faster than Chris did. Like, Chris definitely knows what he's doing, mm -hmm. but Azteca's, like, picked it up a little faster. He has, and it's quite possible he's played this game before. That's the beauty of Game of Honor. If you've played a game before, you have the experience, you have the knowledge, you have the advantage versus your opponent. Ooh, really far away from each other. They have these teleporter pads. In, um, in, uh, Almost fell into the water there. If, they fall, if Chris falls into the water again, that's a... Oh, oh nice hit, nice hit, making a bit of a comeback. I guess he's not gonna give give it to Azteca that easily, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, like, I think he's the one last point, and just like, you know, any comeback you can get, like, he, he's closing in pretty quick, 
He is. He's well, closing in, but he, he has, has a lot of room to cover. Yeah, and it's like it only needs the one more. Oh, this stage is tricky. Fire oh. boomerang. I did not see him get that fire upgrade. That is going to be a problem because if Chris is even near that boomerang. Oh, and there it is. There Azteca it is. Azteca takes it. Azteca takes this. Azteca's going to win. That's it. Avocado wins. Azteca retains his player one championship. The GOH player one championship. First match as a champion. He's retaining it, winning himself 50 points of experience here. What an amazing show. What an amazing night. Thank you guys so much for watching. That's it. That's all we have for you on the match card for Game of Honor tonight. Uh, make sure you guys tune in. Check us out on uh, Twitch, YouTube, and all of our social medias all listed on the screen as you're watching. We love you guys, and we will see you next show.